I need a sip of coffee. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. The one eye thing, the one eye bandit. <laughs> Anyway, so I am back and I know it's a little interesting. Even hubby was like, that looks weird. I mean, I understand, but I'm back and I did not want to do like everything on camera because I know it was going to take a while because let's just face it. It's been a minute, but anyway, Hey everybody, CK here and guess what? I'm coming to you with another, no, wait, what's up, good people, aka winners, that's what we do, Hey, that's all we do, Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another beat, yo, Hey, coming to you with another beat, yo, Ficky, Ficky, Hey, hey. <laughs> it has been a minute and I know, and I wanted to come on here and just talk to you guys, because um, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I filmed. It's probably been like a couple weeks and believe you me I have been ready to film like when I set up my whole little situation last night I was like um, cuz I set it up so we'll be ready this morning and legit I got excited and I wanted to just like <laughs> Literally I have like I have broke up with summer a few years ago, but you know it keeps coming back <laughs> And so anyway, I'm just ready for fall. So I'm gonna hit you with like a little fall. Um, I guess look like a fall go-to and this look you can like doctor it up or you can well not doctor it up But you could dress it up or you could dress it down like you can make it as drastic or dramatic I should say as you want but let me tell you something Just because you have not seen me does not mean that like all is not well all is extremely well over here and I want to talk about too. I went to Sephora the other day. We got to talk about that. When you don't see me here on YouTube, make sure you follow me on um, all of my social media platforms. I am on um, Instagram at Seeky underscore beauty. Um, I am on Twitter. I play around in those Twitter streets a little bit. Um, let me tell you what I did on my eye too. In my crease, I used the Vault Palette by Morphe and Jacqueline Hill. Y'all know that it has been a favorite. And I'm going into um, the color Mugshot right here. And then I am gonna put on my lid, it is called Secret. Did you get it yet? Ooh, my secret, ooh. <laughs> And now that I have launched my own cosmetics line, I do have a Instagram for that, which is Seeky Cosmetics, and I have a Facebook for that. Um, and I have a website, which is SeekyCosmetics.com. And we have launched four lipsticks of which, I don't know which one I'm gonna wear today, but we launched four lipsticks and I'm working on launching some more shades this fall. I'm so ready for fall. I don't know what I just did to that eye, but one thing about doing like a daytime smoky eye, a light smoky eye, a kind of neutral smoky eye, is you do have a little bit of room to play around. So then another thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that I recently went to Sephora. I asked you guys on here, and I think I asked you on Instagram. I was like, what do I need to be getting from Sephora? Like what is new? Now, let me tell you, I am using a unique mascara. This is uh, one of my customers actually sells unique and she was talking about this mascara. So, you know, she supports me and stuff. So I was like, let me, let me support my girl. Let me patronize her. So I tried out the mascara and it's actually not too shabby. So what I'm gonna use, I told you guys last time, this is the LA Girl Pro Primer, the HD Pro Primer, and it's in the nude, I believe. And so I am, hold on, cause I gotta come closer. So what I did was I put a little black down there and let me put a little more over here. And then I tone it down with, um, I put that in the waterline and then I tone it down with an eyeshadow. Uh-oh, I tone it down with an eyeshadow so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, so now I am putting some brown eyeshadow underneath my um, lash line. This is Rich that is in this palette, the Morphe 3502. It's right there and baby, yeah. Let's just say I love the name. Rich, millionaire, all that. And then I actually took my, um, you guys know that I love, love, love Ofra and I love, love, love the Beverly Hills, but this is called the Glow Up Palette, right? And they have a Beverly Hills uh, little palette in there and I use this color right here. And the brush that I'm using is so perfect. It's a Makeup Geek Smoky Eye Brush. I don't even know if she still makes them, but I love it because I can get right in that socket 
and place some highlighter right there because I don't like to use my finger because I don't know how y'all be doing that like it never turns out right when I just use my finger I'm almost done with this primer this is the Veil Cosmetics primer y'all know we just talking oh I said almost done um now some of this it okay I, Obviously, I be, I didn't get Aquaphor from Sephora, but I did go to Target the other day and I definitely had to re-up on my Aquaphor. Those of y'all that have been following me any length of time, y'all know Aquaphor is my judge. I have one in my purse. I have one on my living room table. I have one on my vanity. I have one everywhere. One thing I did get as well was I got the Makeup Forever HD Corrector. This is, well, actually it's a concealer, but it's in the shade 51 that acts as a corrector for me. And you better know that I got two because I have been mixing my own corrector for months and all I had to do was just get me some more girls. So I got a couple of those and then I went to, when I went to Nordstrom's, I actually re-upped on this pencil. It is Mac Strut pencil. This pencil is really, really good when, and it has a spoolie on the bottom and I love those hard spoolies because it just gets you all the way right right and then i also purchased a foundation which i thought it was in here there it goes i purchased a foundation this is makeup forever matte velvet skin 24 hour now from my understanding this is a reformulated version of what they had before and i rocked this last week and after um like a couple of days later y'all I had like, I don't know if you guys can see, see these little dots. I had like a bunch of like small little bumps there and then over here. And I was like, did, was that the foundation? Is it something new in the formula? So I'm going to test it again to make sure. That's why you try things one at a time. I'm going to test it again to make sure, but we trying to clear some things up. So I'm just not right now. We can't do it right now. This is what I needed to get, but I forgot. I needed to get some more Too Faced Born This Way um, multi, is it multi? multi-use sculpting concealer in chestnut i forgot to grab that so i guess i'm gonna have to go online because girl i don't know but during this whole situation during this whole pandemic i haven't been doing foundation a whole lot i literally have been doing the corrector like this then i've been putting on like most of my pictures people are like what foundation i'm like foundation who i've been using this naked skin um concealer and it is in the shade 70 nw and i've been using that and then I put a powder on and this is not sponsored by Urban Decay, but I've been using their um, powder. Girl, I thought that I threw it in the trash on the accident the other day. And I was like, oh, to the M to the G, but I didn't. And now I'm going to show you what I got here, which this would be my third bottle because the first bottle, it did not really match me correctly. Um, and then the second one that they sent me was, I believe it was this one, the 70YW girl. I think so. And so I don't want to put a lot on my forehead because I might put on a hat, a hat. And that's a little trick if you are rocking a hat during this fall season. Just don't put a lot on your forehead so that it doesn't get all over your hat. And I kind of just remember that. <laughs> Bars, A. Hey. So then I'm going to use this Juvia's Place in number 12. And now this I don't need to stock up on because I did get some like before this whole um, pandemic kind of started. I had just re-upped on like 11 and 12. And then I'm gonna set that with my ba um, banana. Yeah, it is banana, wait. My banana powder from Black Radiance, but look, that's another thing. Do y'all see this? I have never in my life used up a banana powder. And I'm here to tell y'all that um, she has been used and abused and this is it, this is it. That's all I have in here. So it is definitely a love thing. And another thing that I re-upped on, which definitely, you know, I didn't get from a mall, but I actually got it from Beauty Supply because I didn't want to wait to get it online from LA Girl. But I re-upped on my Fawn Concealer because that is what I use under my brows and it is a must. And also, Ofra stocked me up on my brow gel. So I use that for my brows every time I do my makeup, just like hashtag winning, hashtag score, dark brown. Um, I'm going to talk more about that in another video, girl, just, <laughs> but anyway, we are going to go on this real quick and we're almost done. I just got to decide if I'm wearing a hat or not, but I'm going on this with the, um, the urban decay. So what colors do y'all want me to come out with? 
because I have an idea. Actually, I have um, some samples I've been trying. So what colors do you want um, in lipsticks do you want me to come out with? And um, if you have tried CK Cosmetics lippies the, the, from the original launch, comment in the um, comment section how you like them let me know and then two tag me in a picture so i can so we can um post you on um the our platform because we have been trying to share now this is showman's um brontour by morphe i like it because i you guys know because i have like high cheekbones i don't need a whole lot of contouring so i'm gonna go right here with the same brush i think this is sedona lace same brush and just kind of swipe that nose i was gonna do tiger lily and i think i think these are discontinued you guys because every time um i'm looking for my dahlia there it goes every time i look to add these to the description box for you guys these um shimmering blush or skin shimmering skin perfector or blush or whatever it was with becca um every time i go to add it i can't find it that was a lot that was a lot that was a lot lot blended up and so i'm gonna go back into that uh ofra cosmetics beverly hills and i'm gonna put that on my cheekbone right here so this right here is my um this is my lipstick in the shade confidence it has somewhat of a um like a peachy kind of undertone to it right kind of neutral too so i like that and then i actually put the um gloss on top which is just being me boom hey hey so i'm gonna put on my hat and i can put the link to this hat in the description box if you guys want to know i actually have one in um in yellow and i have one in red and i'm about to get one in blue and i just love the way let's put that back i love the way like, you know, I do have a little head, but I just love the way it's been looking. But you guys have an awesome, blessed day. Do not forget to put in the comment sections, um, in the comment section, what I should be trying. And if you have tried my lippies, I am rocking my keeping it real as a liner. I have confidence on in the middle. And then I popped on top with my, <laughs> my lip gloss is popping. Then I popped on keep, I mean, just being me, girl, keeping it real confidence, just being me all of them and i love them like this is so hydrating and i'm not saying it because it's mine but the lippies are 12 the lip gloss is 10 i'll put that in the description box as well but you guys have an awesome blessed day once again and i will see you sooner than you think bye baby those are thumbnails i don't know what you talking about hey confidence is key you know what i mean a woman feels good when she's looking pretty